Hiya crafters, Amy here, and today I have some clean and simple stamped single layer cards. Try and say that three times fast, jeez. Anyway, in my mission to get through some items that have been neglected and not touched yet in my crafty stash, I have this gorgeous stamp and stencil set from Altenew. I have some mini ink pads from the Spa Collection at Catherine Pooler. I have my blending brushes from the rabbit hole designs and some card bases. Now here's a photo of the first card that I'm going to make for you today, but do stick around to the end and I'll show you a couple other variations um, to use this unique stamp and stencil set. So do stick around. Now I'm going to jump right in and take these items on their maiden voyage. Um, I discovered these from my friend Ardith. We did a collaboration together um, for another inspiration of using things we haven't touched yet. And this was something that she had that she of course enabled me to buy because you know I had to have it, um, but it has since intimidated me just like it did her, um, and it's been sitting in my craft room for several months. So I'm I'm committed to work through this box of items that I have um, that I wanted and I need to play with. So I'm opening up um, these packages, and what's really cool about Altenew is a lot of times they'll give you these beautiful printouts of um, inspiration. So I'm really using that to kind of just buckle down and actually use this and not let it intimidate me. So you, it's kind of hard to mess up. You can't really go wrong here, but um, I don't know, it just scares me. I don't know if you guys have <laughs> anything in your crafty stash like that that just intimidates you, so there it sits. But I decided to start with the stencil layer first um, to lay down some color, and I'm kind of just winging it. I, I'm looking at some of the inspiration from the little um, pamphlet inside just to figure out what direction I want to go here but basically you can use the stencils you can use the stamps you can use them together to create all these cool different um, geometric stars and it's got a couple sentiments so um, all the cards that I'm making today are single layer so they'll be easy to ship they're pretty clean and simple um, but this first tealish green one is what I'm showing you here so I'm just using some residual ink to start um, with my teal blending brush and that's because I don't want this base layer to be super dark. I'm assuming as I build up on the design I'll get darker as I go. So I'm not using an ink pad yet. I'm just using residual ink on my blending brush kind of coming in with the blue to give it a little bit of a gradient um, but I'm just laying down this this first layer you know, kind of kind of light. And I do have it masked off around it. It was pretty easy to mask, up, mask off with my uh, mint tape there. So I am working directly on a card base. This is a 110 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White. And now I did load it up in my Mini Misty here and I took the biggest of the star stamps from the set and I'm figuring out how I want to line that up. And I think the spokes kind of need to go in between the the sort of diamond shapes here. So just lining this up and I'll pick it up with my misty lid. Um, you do want to condition these because they do have quite a bit of surface area and you want to get the manufacturer's gunk off of it so you can get a nice um, even stamp. But I'm just kind of figuring out the colors here. I know I want to do the, the um, spa collection because the colors are a little bit more um, subdued. They're not quite as in your face. So I have this seafoam color, it's a light green. Um, but if you're familiar with Catherine Pooler, they always seem to stamp darker than you think. So that's partially because the stamp pads are so juicy and the colors are so pigmented. So I'm just going to stamp this down um, and use my press tool just to kind of evenly press this into the card base. You can see it's not the best stamping, so I'm going to come back again. Um, but bear in mind, every time you stamp, it's going to get darker. So um, it may dry back a little bit, but ultimately it will kind of build up that color as you keep stamping. So I get that center star in there and I'm just using my stamp chamois to wipe this off. Um, and then I will go on to the next step here. And again, completely winging it, um, kind of using the, the image um, on the pamphlet just for some direction here. But I decide to change the rotation um, and use the star again. Now I'm lining it up with the spokes um, that I stenciled in to kind of add a different look here. So now I'm going to come in with a different color, um, still in that same color family here, but this is called Daydream. So this is a darker teal um, that I'm ultimately going to be laying on top and the hope is that it'll still showcase those cool little diamonds off the side 
um, but that this will kind of, you know, add to the design here. So same thing, I'm going to press that down. Um, and this is a very vibrant, uh, dark, rich color. So that really kind of adds a pop to the design here. Now I want to grab the sentiment here. It says, um, you are star stuff, I believe is what it says, which is kind of unique and fun. So I'm just kind of kicking that off a little bit to the right side of the composition, which I realize after I stamp it, <laughs> I probably should have done it on a little plastic piece of cellophane, um, because it's not my favorite composition. I think, um, even though the heaviest weight of the sentiment is kind of off to the right and it kind of nestles around the star, um, I still am not a huge fan of the composition. So if I had to do it again, I would probably center uh, the sentiment more underneath the star for this um, design. But here I have these really nice uh, metallic watercolors. I decide, well, it's a star theme, so I want to have some shimmery goodness here. So I grab this. Uh, metallic watercolor and my water brush pen and I'm just going to basically um, wet one of these uh, pools of watercolor ink and I'm just going to splatter it down just to add a little bit more visual interest and hopefully balance out the composition a little bit because like I said it wasn't ideal <laughs> how it ended up but I don't want to give up on it it's still pretty it'll still work so just going to grab an acrylic block here and kind of put some of this metallic watercolor right on it and then I'll use the um, water brush pen just to kind of flick right off the edge of it and put little spatters all over. Um, I do end up getting spatters on the back of the card panel, which wasn't intentional. It was just because I kind of had it sitting down on the work surface, so it got the back dirty. So I ultimately decided to just open up the card base and then kind of deliberately put splatters all over the back as well because, you know, might as well even it out at that point. So I get this kind of evenly put all over how I want it. Um, and there's no real rhyme or reason to that. You could kind of take a paintbrush and do the same thing. But thanks for sticking around here. I've got uh, some pictures of the other cards that I made. I did make these off screen, but um, different color families, different ways of using these stencils and stamps. But overall, very easy, just a fun way to play with um, your colors. Maybe this is a fun stamp set to have if you um, get some new ink colors that you want to play with. You can see I opened it up here and got splatters on the back. But I added a little bit of blingage and rounded the edges with my uh, corner chopper tool here. Um, and that kind of finished the card. So still very simple, single layer. Um, and here's the other two cards that I showed you photos of. So fun to play with it finally. Um, <laughs> it took me long enough, but this is a really unique fun stamp set and if it's still available I will link it below um, with all the other products that I use. So thanks so much for spending time with me today. I hope this inspires you to maybe get out some um, items from your crafty stash that have been intimidating you like this one has been me. <laughs> so uh, thanks for joining me and I'll catch you next time. Bye!